look, want to get into this thing and you just don't know where to start and how to go about it, then this video is for you. Uh, I want to start off by saying with the handstand, the foundation you need, you need to understand the hollow body position. Once you understand how to get into that position and you've built some strength and endurance on the floor, that's when your handstand is really gonna, really gonna progress. You know, I learned the hard way, just kind of throwing myself up against the wall. And for the first year, I really didn't progress much until I really started to focus on the hollow body position. Also, don't compare yourself to other people. Just find the optimal line within your own structure. Over time, as you improve your deficiencies in terms of shoulder mobility, oh shit, bird. <laughs> In terms of shoulder mobility, your line's going to improve. So just do the best what your body will let you do to start with. And over time, you can obviously tweak it and improve and, and get that nice straight line that we ultimately want to achieve. All right, so I'm going to take you some progressions right now. Let's go. So like I said, the hollow body is really important. So we really need to learn how to control our pelvis and our rib cage. So this is just a simple cat cow just to give us the awareness to get into the positions that we need. Uh, really simple but really important. Here we've just got a, a hollow backline hollow body uh, drill. Um, so you just kind of relax and then we actually engage and pull ourselves into that hollow body by pulling in the rib cage, squeezing the bum and tucking the tail and really flattening out that low back into the ground. Really good, just give us that positional awareness that we need. The front body line, similar concept, we're, we're relaxing, we're finding that hollow body by tucking the tail, pulling in the rib cage and drawing the belly button off the ground. Elbows are locked, um, we want that external rotation and we're trying to lift the elbows off the ground and hold that position for a moment. Very challenging, but this is a really powerful drill to, to understand the correct positions we need to be in. So if you're a complete beginner, this progression is where you should start, just a pike handstand. Using, so it gets you used to being upside down. A few things here, you don't want to pike like I'm doing here, you want to drive the floor away and pull the head through, really important. And think about elevating the shoulder towards the ear so we can get as much shoulder flexion as possible. Once we're good at that, um, we can use a bit of a warm up, we're going to go into a wall run. So you start by finding, finding hollow body position, and then as we walk up the wall, we're really trying to maintain that hollow body. Uh, really simple, but most people find it really hard to maintain that holy, hollow body position through the whole, the whole movement. And you only walk in as close to the wall as you're comfortable, so you don't need to go as close to the wall as I have here, but you find that point, and then you just walk back down under control. So this next drill is a heel pull. So we kick up, you wanna get your hands pretty close to the wall. You wanna find that hollow body position so we're kind of connected through that midline. And then all we're gonna do is really press through the fingers and just peel our heels away a couple inches and then come back to the wall. This is really good just to, to when you are upside down, to, to figure out how to adjust and come back from when you over, over adjust and things like that. Really, really important. All right, the kick up, a big piece of the puzzle. We start with the, the shoulders over the wrists, elbows locked and focus on driving the floor away the whole time. The length that we kick up first, we want to try and keep that knee locked. This is tricky but and it will take some practice. Uh, I, another tip, I, I focus on squeezing my belly in the bottom position so when we do kick up in that top position we don't just overextend and we maintain that hollow body position. A big piece of the puzzle to actually catching the handstand. Best of wall holds is probably where you want to spend most of your time. It will really build strength and endurance and will get you that freestanding handstand. You want to walk in as close to the wall as possible. You want to get to the point where your nose and toes are the only thing touching the wall. And you want to hold tension throughout the whole wall, the whole body, by driving the floor away. Um, but you should, shouldn't be so tight that you can't actually have a conversation. You should be able to talk. So you want to remain, remain tight, but not so tight that restricts your breathing. Now we don't want to spend all the time against the wall. We do want to practice kicking up and trying to get into that freestanding handstand away from the wall. But before you do that, you need to understand how to kick, turn out of, out of it so you don't fall on your back. Uh, so make sure, just as you see I'm doing here, I kick up, I don't find it, so then I just twist out of it. Once you've got a handle on that, you want to do play around and really try to kick up and, and find that handstand away from the wall. Otherwise, you're going to come dependent on the wall. 